Good morning and a happy Monday to you, the garage. Yes, it's Monday today. I am having some grandma crunch and I've mixed up the chocolate and the coconut flavor ones just to go all crazy. I'm drinking my coffee out of um, Carla. What would mm -hmm, do? And of course, somewhere in here should be my tablette. You may have seen on Instagram that I managed to. Ooh. This is this is where I put all things that I am I think are worth fixing and other little bits and bobs like my meds and then um, there's things that I will fix at some point but I can't really do them or things that say like this I haven't got the bits for this is a Czechoslovakian um, little card case gorgeous gorgeous but it needs flat back stones. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't need pointed ones, but I don't think I have the right sizes for them anyway. Um, maybe I should make a double look at that actually. Hmm. I may have enough stones to do that. And then I've got this thing, like the beads. They they're just nothing beads really. But I've got this bit of um, cinnabar. That I think it's cinnabar anyway. Doesn't smell feel like plastic or resin or anything so i'm not sure um but just want to do something with that at some point and then i've got some amber beads that need like a new clasp but i don't think i can do that and then i've got these um labradorite beads which i may have strung at some point or i may just sell them as a set of labradorites yeah, so I I managed to fix a load of those yesterday. So I put them on Instagram, the ones that I'd done, but I'll show you guys as well. One of them has already been taxed. Um, because that was the reason why I sat down yesterday and started doing fixing. Is that, um, is that someone was like, oh, I have them if you're fixing it. It's like, oh, go on then. So they're already packaged up and ready to go, but I will set, I will show you the rest in a bit because um, I'm quite pleased with them, you know? I have 26 things going out on eBay and then I think three on Etsy from the weekend, so that's pretty cool. I've got some of them already, um, but I need to go out to the garage and get a couple of bits. Um, just some of the things I sold last night. Um, yeah. It's Monday. This is what we do. Oh, hold on. Right, right. Let, let's start from the beginning. Because what was I talking about? I was talking about advent calendars and how I'm getting a Selfridges coffee one. And then Mum just said... Well, uh, Grandpa used to work in Selfridges and I in didn't, London. And I didn't know this. But before that, he worked to John's, but John Barnes, which was taken over by John Lewis. Yeah. Anyway, in Selfridges, the big one in London... He did some window dressing, whether I did it, he did it all the time, I don't know. But they had a promotion for mock turtle soup. Right, what's that? Well, it was a, it was a soup that was very tasty. Turtles are very because, evident. Because they, when they went over there, it was the Galapagos Islands, they ate all of the turtles. Exactly, they mm, did. Yeah. So this company made mock turtle soup mm. and it was very popular. Well turtle soup was so to promote this my dad um who had a contact in london zoo brought what? a turtle what and put the turtle in the window oh my god john Bard. i think this is apocryphal this is a story that yeah. that uh, that he told but yeah and um he didn't put it in for long, obviously. Well, no, just, because just, that, that was cool. Yeah, but, but yeah. So, oh cause, my God. Because one of his cousins, I think, was a zookeeper at London Zoo. <laughs> wow. So that was quite interesting. That's so cool. Well, these, I mean, not for the turtle. Obviously, the turtle was probably a bit pissed off, but, you know. These things happened sort of pre-war time. You know, yeah. people weren't as... Uh, kind to animals and no, stuff. They weren't. And, yeah. But, um, yeah, I think the sales went up of turtle yeah. soup. 
Oh my god, that's so cool. Yay! Because oh. cause my, my granddad was uh, is a Camden boy, isn't he, Mum? Um, Camden lad. Yes, I think he was born in off, just off the high street in a place called... Uh, Greenland Greenland Terrace, Terrace yeah. Greenland. Greenland Terrace is like it's um it's oh I'm pretty sure there's like a record company that's there, like an old yeah. indie record company that's yeah, on Greenland well, it's Terrace. Probably based in the building where it was born because it was a big flat owned by the Bowman's company. Yeah. So it was a big flat. And he worked in a photographic shop on Camden High Street, didn't he? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, what was the name of it? I can't remember the name of it. And then Gran, like, lived there for a bit as well, didn't she? And she worked in... So, did she work in Marks and Spencers? Oh, that was in York. That was in she York, okay. York in York's and, and Marks and Spencers. So where does she work in London then? Um, she works in the um, camera film photographer. Oh, so she worked in the photographers as well. Yeah. Because Grandpa did. developed the pictures. Yeah, she did what what was called um, tinting. Before so they had... See, our just an artistic family, isn't it? On on yeah. before you know, they had coloured coloured. Yeah, they would tint tint the black and white ones and yeah. the sepia ones. Yeah. yeah. So she did tinting. So, uh, photoshopping. Yeah, sort of, yeah. <laughs> and um, my Uncle John worked for um, uh, Harrods in the furniture department of Harrods. And he also worked. See, we've all got. We must have all have such good taste. Liberties. No, no, no. 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 Liberties. So I'm going to visit Liberties. I can't the SCS DFS. <laughs> this was in Tottenham Court Road. On Tottenham Court Road, I don't know. Maples. Oh right, okay. Maples on Tottenham Court Road. That's cool. And Auntie Mary. Yeah. Worked for a milliner. And. Why didn't we? St I know why well, we didn't stay in London because you know 15, the war and this all that. This was her first job, and she was about fifteen. Yeah, and she had to go to uh, suppliers to to get feathers and lint, you know, bits yeah. and bobs for the. And so she went to the taps and she went around London and did taps. Oh, see, and she didn't like the job. She did. How, how? I know. She was a bit odd though, wasn't she? Then, uh, when during the war, she was sent to Nottingham and to make kit bags Aww. for soldiers because that was part of the war, yeah. war work. Yeah. So she was billeted in this place, you know, like a lodging house with a couple of other girls. Wow. And she also worked for the post office. Um, on a rail station, it was a rail, you know, we're taking them off the train mm. and putting them onto wagons, that sort of thing. So she did that. And she said she worked see, in another company. See, I just think, like, I, 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 again, war work. But, but we, we just come from a classy, creative family, you know, milliners, Harrods, Selfridges. Yeah. What happened to us, eh? I don't know. <laughs> Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah. Never mind, eh? But we have secretly got class. And uh, my uncle Ted, I think he worked for Marconi. I don't know. I remember you saying something about televisions and stuff. Yeah, he was one of the few people who actually was able to get a television. Before the war. So for the coronation? Well, not, no? Not, no, no, this was before, this was pre-1930s. Oh, right, okay. Coronation, this was right. But, but like, I, 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 I thought it was just all radios then, I don't know. No, they started television in the 1930s, early 1930s. Really? 
36, something like that. Only, uh, and it was from. Well, I suppose, Ali yeah, Pali, of course, because and um, because the, there's the 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 you know footage of Hitler, like in uh, um right. at the at the Birmingham at uh, Birmingham, um Berlin Olympics, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. So, so that, that, that was pre-war. So thirty-six. Thirty-six. Right? Yeah. Of course, I, did, I didn't think. I thought T for some reason. I just thought TV was like from the forties onwards. I don't know. Yeah, because you have these images of like the war and everyone sat around and listening yeah. to the radio, yeah. not like yeah. watching our Aunt but Daddy. I think you were for Marconi. It it was definitely a radio television yeah. company, but he worked on radios. So he was the kind of person that you gave him a box of stuff and he would make a radio. Yeah, he was very technically minded. Very, um, you know. Yeah, he was a clever chap, was Uncle Ted. Also very nice. I liked Uncle Ted. Of the of my dad's brothers, mm. uh, John and Edward, I like Ted best. Jo I mean John and yeah, John and Edward. Yeah, Edward Ted was best. John was, Edward and William. Yeah, John Edward, William and Mary. Mary the young. Well, it's Alice really. Yeah, Alice Mary. The redhead. Yeah. Uh, my my um. Um, Great Auntie Mary, yeah, Mad Auntie Mary, Mad Auntie Mary. But she wasn't mad. She was just a bit weird. She was eccentric. Yeah. Is the polite way of saying it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Determined. Oh yeah. Um. My in, God. Yes. Of feisty. Feisty. Yeah. She used to argue with my mother all the time. Like they didn't get on at all. <laughs> at all. This is my gran who. Um, by the way, camera's pointing at me. I'm not filming yeah, you right now because I know. Yeah, but um, this is my gran who I used to go around on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon and play cards. Would play gin rummy with my gran, and I would be what like five, six, seven years mm -hmm. old going around on a sun Saturday afternoon, and my gran. You you would think you know you're playing like a five, six year old that would like she'd never let me win. Never. She would thrash me. <laughs> she was never. She was never kind. Nope. No. Nope. Say so, no. I'll beat you again. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but you learnt. Oh yeah. There you are. Yeah. Then. I learnt my poker face. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I better go home and do some work. Yeah. <laughs> did you enjoy story time with Mummy? I did. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Okay. So here's what's going out. See, family of class and culture and stuff in it. <laughs> Anyways, £5.50 for some clip-on Art Deco style earrings. I had um, a bunch of sterling silver bracelets ending on auction yesterday. So a few of them sold. So this one with um, a bit of jadeite jade, little dangles on it went for £19.99. This kind of chunky one went for £29.99. This little Bianco is. Um, Italy one went for $17.99. This one went for $22.99. And this one with the little Albert T bar, $24.99. This vintage necklace with like a little kit and a clasp on it went for $11.99. A two kilogram load of jewelry, $19.99 including post another set of star wars key rings 5.99 including post this modernist style brooch went for six pounds um this lovely art deco with mother of pearl ring went to suzanne suzanne hello suzanne thank you for purchasing again i hope you enjoy your items thank you very much shout out just to you <laughs> A sparkly sterling silver necklace, ten pounds. This enamel koi carp fish brooch, seven pounds. A bezel set, a uh, crystal bracelet, eight pounds seventy nine. These two bits, so um, lovely little heart drop sterling silver earrings, and then this little apple brooch. I'm going to Paula and she was one of my raffle winners from the other weekend, from the 90s weekend. So they're going off to you today. Thank you very much. 
uh, this stretchy um, Studio 54 kind of belt went for a fiver. That was just in the job lot of stuff and so I well, might as well sell it. Do you remember I got the Sporovsky Swans and the Pandora stuff and all things like that in a, a nice job lot of things? Well, that went for £35, so chuffed with that one. This Ethnic Bangles set. Like, I really like them. I think I showed them in a video and I was like, I quite like them. Um, they went for £9. This Sterling Silver 3 Wave necklace, 11 .99. There's um, Polished Stones, various like semi-precious gemstones, went for £14.99. This dress that I've had for so long, it's just a frilly pink dress that I bought when everyone was going like, Blush pink, blush pink, and I bought that and no one bought it, but now someone has for eight pounds. It's a pretty dress. It's like, it's really nice. You could do like flapper type. I put flapper and Gatsby as like keywords in it because it's a pretty dress, but anyway, went for eight pounds. A sparkly Welsh dragon brooch, 10 99 This cute little foxy brooch, isn't he lovely? Went for 7 99 A statement chains, like bib necklace like they had chains hanging down with like circles on the end went for eight pound and this hella confectionery tin with all like spanish dancers on went for five pounds fifty nine and then over on etsy is actually four sales this abalone and sterling silver ring it's all sterling silver or gold on my etsy store this little cornish imp can you see in there sitting down a cornish pixie ring this lovely oh this is gorgeous like carnelian and gold and silver ring that's beautiful and then also gorgeous is um this crane heron big long necked bird brooch that's gone as well so those are my etsy sales so i best crack on and get back in Exciting times. Mum's steaming the puddings in the pressure cooker. So these ones are done. I'm just gonna do some more now. That one's mine. Big ones. And these are the jewellery bits that I fixed yesterday. So um they were they were all very simple fix though to be fair. So this one just had one of these stones missing. I can't remember which one it was now, but um, yeah, and it's lovely, got a lovely clasp on it. This one again, just had one stone missing. It was one of these bits on the end, but again, I can't remember which one. This is uh, Butler and Wilson, so worth fixing. This one had these three gems missing. I didn't have three the same, but I thought the two pink and the one blue look quite nice. So that's cool. This is a Kirk's Folly one and it had, I think it was that one in the middle there missing, but not like you'd really know. This one is lovely Victorian brooch and I put the little green stones in there. So I quite like that. This is an Atwood and Sawyer one and I didn't, like the stone isn't quite big enough to go in there. That's the one that, that needed and then that one or does that still need one i can't tell oh no that still needs one so i haven't finished this one yet um but yeah so i didn't what have one quite big want? enough oh it's just another clear one I, I should have one hopefully like that and these are atwood and sawyer as well and which one was it i think it might have been that one that i replaced i think but yeah they look all right on this one, uh, you'd think it was that one that I replaced, but it was actually that one and one of these, I think. That one is like an original one in there. It's just like slightly darkened. But that one is Askew London. So that's cool. On this one, it's the middle marker seat that I put in. On this one, you can see it's the blue ones. I didn't have any purple ones to match, but I think the blue ones actually look quite nice with the purple, don't they? On this Pandora one, you can actually tell it's that one and it does stick out just a little wee bit. So um, I'll obviously put that, you know, like on the listing with all of these. And with this Pandora one, 
don't think you can tell by look, but you can sort of tell by feel. There's one that just sticks out a tiny bit. Um, let's see if I can. No, I can't find it now. No, I don't know. But yeah, there's one on there anyway. And then these ones just all needed new clasps. So new clasp, new clasp, sterling silver, moonstone, sterling silver there. This one just needed its non Swarovski charms taken off. And then I added this one, which was um, from a necklace, I think. So I'll put them on there. And then this one, which is sterling silver, it needed its clasp fixing and it needed a new link, which I think was that one. Where is it that one? It's one that's like a much rounder link. Oh, it's that one. It's that one there. So it's like the rounder link. And the other ones are oval. So I could just give it a squish. But yeah, and I had to bend that back into shape so that um, it could close. But yeah, so that's what I fixed. Not bad, eh? And then things that I'm going to be listing today is um, all of this costume jewellery. So some of it is new with tags. These. And uh, yeah, and then the Franca bits and the collar length ones and some Pilgrim, some tatty designs, some chains and stuff. So there'll be auction lots, uh, some this week and some next week, I think. But before I start doing some actual work at 5 to 12, <laughs> I've been sat here listening to murder stuff, haven't we, Mum? Murder. Murders. We like murders. But I say um, hello to Victoria as well, um, who has nabbed the Queen enamel badge off me as well. So hello, Victoria. Hope you enjoy doing that. See you again. Hey. Um, 20 listings done. I've got another 20 to do, which I'll do at some point this afternoon. Maybe. I say maybe because I have, I've got big deliveries of stuff. So I've got some more from that seller, that um, like house clearance or whatever that I bought the other day. So I saw that they listed some more. I'm like, well, I might find the other Hermes like earring in it so it's worth a try isn't it and then a dog lot of brand new with tags marks and spencers stuff which i think is this it's not particularly exciting um and some of them will end up going in two kilo lots like probably the necklaces will go into two kilogram lots but If it is, I'll give you a, a, a better look at it in a bit. Oh yeah, it is. It's all the Marks and Spencer stuff. So yeah, not very exciting, but all brand new with tags and things. But the reason I got it is because there was quite a bit of sterling silver stuff in there. But anyway, I'll give you that later because there's this and it's to Lex's teeth. So, um, that's an odd one. <laughs> so we've got, oh, a little card. Oh, with a lovely little deer on it. I thought, I thought that I saw the Yorkshire address and I was like, I wonder if that's Jack Parrish and it is. Dearest Lex, with two X's. He actually says that, with two X's. Um, just a little something to say hello. I hope you like them. Congrats on new teeth. They look right proper smashing. Oh, thank you, Jack. Um, I hope this reaches you before your um, whole house falls into the sinkhole, which is obviously is what caused the, the wall to fall down. Um, yeah, that clearly must be underneath it. And also, and that that doesn't happen before the hitch in meetup. Oh, yay. Um, I want to actually be able to say hello in person. Oh, yay. Um, hoping for more, Lex goes to um, get cut open, but almost doesn't because she broke the <laughs> rules. Con Thank you, Jack. Right, he, he sent me some of the, the yummy sourcings that I like. So we've got ooh, a garlic mayo. This this one, I very, my mum likes this one as well. The custard one is awesome. <gasps> The sweet and sour one I have had before, and that is nice, obviously, on chicken and if you make cauliflower rice. 
chocolate, always good and quite nice in yogurt and stuff. This is awesome. Thank you very much, Jack. And then we've also got, oh, amazing. I haven't tried this one. Strawberry jam. That's lush. What, what was I gonna? I've got some yogurt, so I might put that in some yogurt later as well. Or I've got a bread mix over there that I was like, um, oh. Yeah, I'll have a think about, I might make that bread mix up and then toast it and then have like jam and toast. Oh, thanks so much, Jack, that's so lovely. Oh, he's a good boy, isn't he? He's a good boy. Mm. I am feeling a bit peckish now. I'll do the bread later, I think. Maybe, or maybe I'll have it for breakfast tomorrow with some jam. That will probably happen. But yeah, thank you very much, Jack. That's really lovely. Okay, so I'll show you that Marks and Sparks is stuff now, shall I? Let's get you more in a being able to look at position. Oh, hello. <laughs> right. So like I said, there's gonna be um, a lot of things that I probably won't list. And I paid 65 pounds for this thing. And some I will list because it's uh, it'll be like multi-listing stuff. Now I think these must be samples because, yeah, rack samples. You see, oh look, that's so cute. And yeah, some of the things say like that, I'll just put into two kilo lots. So the little bumbly bee things, they're cute. They're nice, but I'm gonna put them into two kilo lots. Did that have something stuck to it? it did. God knows where that's come from then. And we've got janglies and little butterflies. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're quite nice. I like them. They're sort of like paper clip type ones. I like those. And the studs. Oh, they are cute. They are cute. Look. How adorable is that? Oh, this style is called Lexi. I'm not a Lexi though. Just a Lex. Got some fishums. Oh, and like sea ones. Oh, cute. Hedgehogs. More of the little birds. Birds. So like if they're multi, and nowls. Nowls. Incorrect packaging, reason package not ready. Okay, and owls on a different thing. Um. Hmm. That's it's I quite like that these are these have all got things on. But yeah, multi listings I do and then some of them um I just you know, like I said, two kilo lots. Oh right, so I think that's the oh is it? Maybe. It says skin kind. Now these are the pull through ones that Carla likes. Carla, you're having these as part of your Christmas stocking, okay? There you go, that's one surprise ruined. <laughs> oh God, they're crazy. Um, I'll try and, oh, they're nice. Little foxes, I like them. Cute. And yeah, I'll try and divide some of these new with tag ones like throughout my two kilo lots. This won't be a two kilo lot just of brand new Marks and Spencers because that would be crazy. Some more foxes. That's nice little feathers. Peruna. <laughs> Dachshunds. If you do want any of these as ever, please do not message me through, oh, they're nice, um, through eBay because I will have to ignore you. Um, please do message me though on the email address that's underneath this video and um, I'll sort some things out for you if you'd like a little, you know, bunch of anything. 
some more heart ones. The gold plated collection, they're quite smart. So, oh, look, little cocktail glasses, they're fun. Some more hearts, some more feathers. I'm basically just picking out the things I like and the things I don't really, I'm not, you know. And then there's Brandon Charm, some more of them cocktail glasses, and oh, they look quite nice. Quite like them. Right, next bag. So that was earrings. So I'll put all the earrings back in there. So they were going to be five pounds um, per pair of earrings, it looks like. So we see. I'll probably do little bundles first, say like ten pounds of like four packs or something. Something like that anyway, isn't it? Right, so these are brooches and pins. Oh, I've got a kitty cat. And love hearts. Some more love hearts. Some more love hearts. Oh, that's nice. That might have to go to Nat because it's a little bee on a flower. So I'll save that one for, for Natalie. I'm going to do a daisy. <laughs> Starfish. Butterflies. More love pins. A little uh, bee on a flower. Foxy, I like him. If you like foxes, I think mum will like a foxy. Daisy, foxy. Keep on a section. Crab. I think this one had the owl on it. But it's um it's broken unfortunately, so I'll keep that aside. A little doggy and a stripy top. With a couple of them. And another starfish. So they're good. I like I like all of those. Like, so I'll definitely sell all of them. Some more earrings. So you've pretty much seen all of all of these. There's some more of them. Birdies and then little padlock ones. I quite like them. Little heart padlocks. And um, there's some ones in boxes. Let's have a look at the ones in boxes, shall we? Oh yes, these are the ones I saw that were sterling silver. So that's nice. And then there's also platinum plated collection. They're pretty the Art Deco style ones. I like them. And then these starry ones. They're lovely, aren't they? Nice for Christmas. Mm. For Christmas. Lovely for Christmas. So that's awesome. But yeah, cut and plated stuff. And then we got sterling silver ones. Does it have the price on these? It doesn't have like what they would have charged for them. We've got little knots. There's a couple of them. These little entwined circle ones. Yeah, it doesn't have their price on. So there's a few of them. Oh, that's got some like pretty maybe rose quartz in them. So they're rather lovely. I like them. And then there's all these necklaces, which to be honest, are probably ones that um, I'll put into two kilo lots. Uh, I know I probably could sell them and do a multi-listing and stuff, but I think if I put them in two kilo lots, someone, like, the buyer will be happy because they'll go like, oh, I've got brand new Marks and Spencer's necklace in my two kilo that, you know, would have been probably 20 quid in the shop. And then this is more sterling silver stuff. So we've got really nice twisty ring there. Oh, and then a matching ring to that earring set. That's lovely. Um, oh, look, see this. Oh, my God. See, this shows how much they just their platinum plated collection is. £19.50. That would be new. And I've got a few of them in various sizes. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's mega sparkly. So they wanted £12 for that one. Um, that's another one. So platinum plated stuff. 
Got another sterling silver, like a twisty ribbon ring there. Very pretty. There's loads of this platinum plated. 12 pounds there. Oh, that one's like a nice halo one. Like you couldn't, like some of them have got writing on. So some of them like, say you couldn't really give that as a gift, but if you wanted it for yourself, that's another, another 19 pound 50. 19 pound 50. Oh, this one's got a couple of rings in there. Let's see, like sample things. I'm I'm loving this little job lot. This is kind of, oh look, that's got like champagne colour diamonds in there. But you know, um cubic zirconia. Fifteen pounds that would have been. So these are fab. I am like well chuffed with this little job lot for sixty quid. Um, I think these are some really lovely bits. Um, like I said, I'll be I'll be listing the rings, the sterling silver stuff, the brooches, and then the earrings I'll do probably in um, like the packs. You know, like get a variety, like I said, of like you know, four packs for ten pounds or something. But um, yeah, I'm I'm like. I'm mega chuffed with that for 60 quid. Um, but you know, with all the sterling silver as well. Like, that's some good shit. I'm really chuffed. Anyways, it's time for me to have some lunch now because I'm hungry. So I'll be back in a bit. Right, lunch is some leftover salad from yesterday. Cheesies as croutons, lettuce, tomatoes, spring onion, and some pepperoni and tomatoes in there. I was gonna have um, boiled egg in there as well, but I didn't boil them for long enough, so they're just kind of scrambled egg on the side. Yeah. <laughs> so if you watched my live, you would have seen that from my 100 pounds, this was actually what I've got for, for me to sort of sell or keep or scrap or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I've got this long pearl lariat, not lariat, sautoir, this cuff, these have already been claimed and that is something that I may fix and that is something that I may keep. I will sell that, ungold that, them, earrings, pin, goldstone, dress clip, this bizarre chain with lots of odd, it's got spider, it's bizarre. Uh, and then these bits all ended up being silver, so I've got five silver charms there. Um, that ended up being silver, which I was quite surprised about, like this black beaded one, so that's silver. And then another silver necklace there. Um, the Mercedes thing, obviously that brooch, that brooch. Um, these ended up being silver, which I was quite surprised at. They're very lightweight, it's not Links of London, so all of them are scrap silver and that. And then that ended up being amber. So it's not on silver though, but yeah, just um, an amber pendant. So that's what I got for my hundred pounds, obviously, plus the two bags of two kilogram lots of jewelry and four kilogram bag of broken jewelry. So I should get like 55 quid back for that. So that's over half of my money back. I'm not stressing about it, it's okay. Just been sorting out the Marks and Spencer stuff ready to, um, I might list these tonight, um, but I'm keeping that one because I think that's super cool. Anyways, dinner is chicken and cauliflower rice. That's chicken done in like a low carb southern fried chicken coating. Uh, yeah, cauliflower rice, some mushrooms and some green beans and broccoli. Quite a lot of green, green, green beans and broccoli. So I've been a good girl and I've listed all the silver stuff from that Marks and Spencer's and all the platinum collection stuff. So I've just got like the brooches and earrings left to do, but that's enough for today. Watching Luxuria Bridal Plastic Gout. Azumi, hey y'all beautiful. It's time to say good night. Are you off for you? Okay. She's so rude. I know. Anyways, tomorrow is shed day at my sister's house. Much excite. 
See you then. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.